Lord be with you. <laughs> Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man, has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to invite our boys and girls to come forward at this time. Have a seat right up here. Kids, come on up. Somebody grab the chairs. Boys and girls, come on up. Have a seat right here on the floor, please. They tell a prince or princess what to do. Okay. Yeah. So they order people about. Okay, that's good. Yes. All right, one more thing. They make their kingdom a better place. They make their kingdom a better place. Well, you hope anyway, right? Yeah. They're a good king. There are sometimes bad kings, though, right? Okay, hands down for a second. What, uh, what does a king look like usually? Can you tell me one thing a king wears? A robish cape and a crown. Okay, good. What else? He wears a dress-like thing. He wears a dress-like thing? I don't think you would tell a king you're wearing a dress. I don't think he would like to hear that. Yes. Because, you know, back in Jesus' time, they wore long robes, and there are a lot of people where he was in the Middle East who still wear those kinds of clothes. They're not dresses. They're accepted as things that men wear. So... Okay, so how many of you have seen a movie about a king? Can you name one movie that you can think of that has a king in it? What's one? Jack the Giant Killer. Okay, what else? 
Stardust. Okay, good. Any of you ever hear of the Lion King? Raise yeah. your hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got a lot of Lion King fans here. Okay, this is a good thing. So. All right, well, hands down for a second. I would like to share, there's a lot of stories about kings, and I know when I was growing up, I heard a lot of stories about kings, such as uh, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, and the kings and Robin Hood, and certainly Lion King is a great story too. But this morning I'm going to read one particular story that I don't know if you've ever heard before, but this is a very special king. And in order to read this story, I need to set the stage with some proper storytelling music. So, let's have some music please! Now listen closely to my story. There once was a king from long ago who was very rich and powerful, yet he was very unhappy because he wanted a wife. And without a queen, his huge palace seemed very empty. Well, one day, while riding through the streets of a small village in his kingdom, he saw a peasant girl who was so beautiful and gentle that it took his breath away, and it touched his heart deeply. And the king wondered if he might win her love. Well, first he thought of making a royal decree that would command her to become his bride, and yet he realized that if he forced her to obey him, the king would never be sure that she really loved him. It could be that she would just marry him merely out of obeying his command as the king. Well, next he thought of calling on the woman in person and showering her with diamonds and silver and the finest jewels. And yet he then would be left wondering if she had married him just because he had a lot of money and wealth. Well, then the king considered dressing up as a peasant and meeting her in disguise, but he thought that would be kind of too dishonest just to merely act like something that he really wasn't. Well, the king knew there was only one way left to win her love finally decided to take off his royal robes, put aside his wealth and power, and actually become one of the peasants like the beautiful girl. And in the end, he won her over through his great sacrifice, and she became his queen. The end. How about that, huh? And you know, do you know who that king is? He is just like who? Who are we praising right now today? <coughs> Jesus, that is right. And Jesus is our King. And today is a special feast day in which we celebrate Jesus as our King. And we are called to obey our King, aren't we? But He's no ordinary King. For example, did He have a crown of jewels? No. No. What did He have a crown of? <coughs> of thorns. <coughs> and did He have a, a big throne to sit on like kings do? No. Guess where his throne was? On the cross, where somebody nailed him to the cross, and that's where he died. And did he have long, flowing robes usually? No. As a matter of fact, when they put him on the cross just before that, they stripped him of all of his clothing. So he was willing to sacrifice all these things, even though he was God and is God, all because he loves all of us so much that he wants us someday to join him in his heavenly kingdom. But the only way to get there is through him and to follow his commands. To love others as he loves us. To help one another as he has helped us. To be kind, to be patient, to be forgiving when people have hurt us. And ask for forgiveness when we've hurt others. And certainly coming to church to learn more about following his ways more closely. And that, my friends, is how we worship the King of Kings was the greatest king in the whole entire universe. And his kingdom lives happily ever after. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, now, before you go back to your chairs, I have a little something to give you to celebrate Jesus as our king. How many of you like the color? Me, not me. All right, not you? Okay, you won't get one. Okay, so on one side we have a coloring page with Jesus, our Lord and King, on the cross. And then on the other side is a little word search puzzle where you have to find the words that, some of the words you've heard in the gospel today. So if you can help me pass these out, and can you help me pass those out? And once you get one, quietly walk back with it to your pews to be with your families again. Okay? And thank you very much for your attention. And thanks for your responses. Thanks. That's my